there's a small quick takeaway that you can use right away, the small little habits of mind that you can use in one minute and help give you a mental reset so you can get on with your day and be your best self. And the smaller and the simpler it is, we find the more people use it. So here's one you can use. You know how people ruminate when they're worried. They go looping in their mind. And it's usually a question they ask themselves like, what if I don't make it to work on time? What if I ran out of money this month? What if I get sick? What if they reject my proposal? Have you ever caught yourself talking to yourself like that? Well, you're actually practicing creating that outcome or those outcomes by giving yourself that question. Because then the mind goes, oh, what if that does happen? And then starts to create a, a mind story seeing that happen in your future. So what you want to do is interrupt that but use a very similar question. So you just do the opposite. You stop yourself and just take a breath and say, well, what if I do get to work on time? What if I make enough money and more this month? What if I stay healthy? What if they love my proposal and accept it? Because, you know, if you're thinking about something in the future, you don't really know what's going to happen. So if you start giving yourself a positive possibility, then the mind starts creating this mind story around it and sees it. And then there's this interesting phenomenon that happens whereby, you know, if you've ever thought, oh, I'm going to buy an Audi car and you'd never owned one before, then all of a sudden you see on the street an Audi everywhere. <laughs> that brand of car, whereas you never noticed it before. So what happens is, is because you've loaded the idea that they would accept your proposal or that you'd make enough money and more this month, your brain starts to see things that are going to help that come true. And then if you take action on them, boom, you're creating that reality. Well, the same can happen in the negative way what if I don't make it to work on time? You'd be more likely to take a route that's going to ensure you don't get to work on time as opposed to what if I do get to work on time and all of a sudden you're seeing traffic in a new way and you're finding a quicker way there. So it's about working with your mind, not against it. Now, there are some situations where the chances that things are not going to go well are fairly high. <laughs> And so if you start giving yourself a positive what if, you start to reject that. So there's a third option called neutral okay what if. So all you do is you take your negative what ifs that you wrote at the top of the page and you say, what if I don't get to work on time and it's okay and I learn and I let it go and move on? Or what if I run out of money this month and it's okay and I figure something else out and I learn and I move on. Or what if I get sick, but I learn and I figure out how to get healthy quickly and let it go and move on? What if they reject my proposal and that's okay, I learn and grow and move on? Because when you think back on your life, times where you have run out of money or things did get rejected or you failed or something like that, usually those are our most potent learning experiences. And so if you pre-program yourself that even if something happens that you'd prefer not to happen, that you're going to learn from it, so it's going to be good anyways. So what can happen then is you go through life not being as afraid anymore. You go through life thinking, it's okay whatever happens. I'm going to turn adversity into advantage or lemons into lemonade or whatever. And if you pre-program yourself that way, I find you don't wake up and worry. You're more willing to take risks and be more bold and try new things, which is going to give you more of the good things in life. And people also find with this exercise that it moves the energy and attention because energy goes where attention flows from the survival brain, the reptilian inner complex, limbic brain, it's like fight or flight, and brings it out to the outer cortex, to the neocortex, where you have more of your problem-solving skills, your high creative intelligence available to you again. So there's an actual handout. You can click on that link and then 
just print out as many of these as you want and fill it out. It only takes literally one or two minutes and see how you feel before and after you do it. It's quite powerful. Give it a try. Thanks for listening. <laughs>